Hi guys. Hello everyone. Welcome to my Facebook page. My name is Tracy Bellion and I'm coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. And this is my Facebook page called Tracy's Fancy. I'm a furniture painter and designer and coach, painting coach, business coach, health and wellness coach, coaching all the things. Hello everybody. Hi Allie, you made it. You're on time to this one. See, you're on time. <laughs> I just left Dixie Bell's uh, Facebook page where I was painting over there. Hello, Linda. Hi, Deb. I was painting over there um, this, oh, what is that? I'm getting all kinds of stuff in my paint tonight. Uh, this, what I'm calling a Bombay chest, but it really isn't. Um, and I really honestly had no idea. I posted it yesterday and asked for some input about what color I should paint it. And you know, most people were like, oh, I'm sure whatever you color you do it, it'll be beautiful. Or, um, or they said colors that I just wasn't fond of, like, uh, what was the color? Like Savannah Mist or uh, Stormy Seas. <laughs> I'm like, I don't wanna do gray. I don't wanna do another gray. Someone did say tea rose. I did seriously consider some tea rose with some black wax to give like that gray, you know, grunge finish in the areas. But I was like, I just, that doesn't make me happy. I wanted to do something that really made me happy, but I still didn't know. And it was time to go live. It was time to start painting. Yay, Carmen, I'm so glad. It was time to go live and I still didn't know. My daughter was here and um, she saw the houndstooth stencil. She was like, mom, you have to do that houndstooth. We both love houndstooth. And, uh, I was like, you know what? Okay, I think I will. I think I'm gonna do houndstooth on the drawer fronts and uh, and do it in black and white. And she was like, okay, and I said, and if I'm doing that and it's the holidays, I'm doing green. I'm gonna go back with some green and some black and white and we are gonna do a happy piece of furniture during some crazy couple of days. Um. Oh, is Sully on? I didn't see. I see Michelle saying hi to Sully. Hi, Sully, sweetheart. Girl, what time is it? It's late. Get to bed. I'm always acting like your mom. Always having to tell you, get to bed. Let me move this over here a little bit. Um, so this right here is tree frog green. I've painted with it plenty of times in the past. I love to use tree frog green with black wax, and this will get waxed with black. Um, but I just like the idea of using the green and the black wax. And then, um, and yes, I should take my drawers out, but I'm leaving them up because we're gonna put white on them in just a minute. And if I take them out, you can't see it as well. So right now I am just going in between and pouncing out my brush strokes here because I want that kind of a finish. And We've got Gray Boss on the front so far. Uh, if you didn't join me over on Dixie Bell, if you weren't there, this is the new Dixie Bell, one of the new stencils. Um, this is the Houndstooth. Houndstooth. These are 16 by 20. They're not available yet in the stores, but we did get them. And so this is what I'll be using on the drawer fronts, at least on these two drawer fronts. And I may do these solid green or I may do black and white stripe on the top the fronts of the top. And then they're gonna be trimmed out. They'll be trimmed out. Either in, I'll leave it in green or I may do gold. I love uh, tree frog green with bright gold. I like it a lot. So um, let's see, you can't see that. I feel like if I'm gonna, you can't see that. We'll just start painting white. I'm not gonna do that over there. I am gonna take this down here though, real quick. Real quick like. Um, and then I'm gonna go get, no I have, I have the right brush. I have the right brush. So usually I use fluff when I'm using white, but I'm gonna use cotton this time. I really, really want a super crisp. I don't want the, the softer white. Fluff is a softer white that I usually use, um, but I want a crisp white. So let me get my mini brush out and let's shake up some cotton. Y'all are all saying hi to Solly and I never saw her. Solly, speak again. <laughs> uh, Nina, how are you? Are you doing okay? I would love to know. All right, whew, it's bright. That is a bright, right. Uh, I love tree frog green, this piece. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetie, I hope so. I hope so. All right, let's put this on. Let's put this on right up here. I'm gonna take it out a little bit further um, then the actual, you know, you could be real super careful, right? You could go like this, 
just like that. It's raised. That's a, that's a drop off underneath there. So I can make my edge super sharp, right? I could do that. But what happens when you come back and you start doing this trim around the outside edge, you've got a little lip underneath there and you didn't get it. So I go ahead and finish that off just like that, knowing that whatever I paint inside here, whether I do it in green or gold, um, I don't have to worry about that little lip. I've already, I've already put my color on it. It's taken care of. So I'm going to go a little bit further. It makes it look kind of sloppy, but right now, but you know, if you know your plan and you know where you're going, then it's okay. So, uh, Allie, if Allie's on here or not, I don't know. I had, she won a consultation with me and we had a consultation. We had that consultation today and we were talking about, um, you know, how we were talking about the flow of things basically we talked about a lot of stuff but one of the things we talked about was the flow of things and knowing where you're going and staying on track and uh see though girl i told you i had no idea what i was going to do with this piece but i decided and i'm going to stick it out it's what i'm going to do however it's not to say that i haven't changed my mind it's your prerogative but i'm trying to get, keep keep uh keep ally from doing that <laughs> she changes her mind and then and then uh it takes forever and she doesn't get a piece completed because she questions herself. Who does that? We all do that, right? We question ourselves, like, oh, this isn't looking right. But you do need to feel it. You definitely need to feel it. But as soon as we said this today, I felt it. I, I knew that this will not be, this will not be a changing. Does it look like I had handcuffs on? That is a burn, you guys. I want to see it up close. That's a burn. It was coconut oil. Coconut oil came out of the skillet, landed on my arm, went all, it dripped around my arm uh, and did not feel good. That was last week. I was making, what was I making? I was making fried plantains. <laughs> That's what I was making, fried plantains. Burnt my arm. Fried plantains and banana patties. That's what I was making. My own little concoction. Look how pretty that white is. So pretty and crisp. There we go. Looks good, right? I know, I know. I put coconut. It's actually healed really well. It went all the way around. You can see where it started. It started right there and it ended right there. So it started here and it went around <laughs> all the way around <laughs> to there. I know. What did she just say? Um, Yari, I just busted out laughing handcuffs. I know, Yari. I'm serious. That's what it looks like. I told Matt. I was like, it either looks like we were, like you were holding my wrist really hard, or it looks like I've been in handcuffs and was trying to fight my way out. Because you know. Because you know. Because we use handcuffs all the time. Or, you know, I get in trouble all the time. Leslie Parker, fried, fried plantains. I was trying to mash up fried uh, plantains and banana and then put a little bit of um, cassava flour in them and made like little patties. And it was really good. It was really, really good, but it was a mess. Sometimes I just get things in my head and uh, decide I'm going to try them. So this is in preparation for the black hound's tooth. We'll come back with the black hound's tooth. <laughs> Yori, I'm so glad I can make you laugh. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. Tell Matt to stop beating me up. I didn't I saw that that's what someone said, but but uh but I don't know who said it. And remember that time I told y'all that someone, who was it? I think it was my sweet, uh, I think it was my sweet Pat asked what happened to my leg. She thought I had a bruise on my leg. And I was like, okay guys, those are varicose veins by my knees. And it, people ask all the time what happened to my leg. As a matter of fact, when Matt and I first were married, he asked me to go get them fixed. Cause he was like, I feel like it looks like those are bruises. And they do look like bruises. They really do. They, they look like bruises. He was like, I feel like people are going to think that I'm, that I'm hurting you. <laughs> I'm like, why would someone ever think that about you? But yeah, that's, he didn't want me to go get them fixed because he didn't like how they looked on my body. He didn't want anyone judging. 
judging him, but then sure enough, people do notice. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. I forget I can. I'm not on Dixie Bell's page, so I don't have to. I can just, I can just paint. You have those bruises too. <laughs> Yeah, kids especially. Oh, Gigi, what happened? Oh, Gigi just has those. Just have them. Signs of life, right? It's all right. It's so awkward painting at that angle. It makes me it makes me paint slow. Where is my mister? Psh. Oh, it was first spray. First spray with my new mister that my friend sent me. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I've missed you. Oh, oh, mister, how I've missed you. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's been too long. A spray bottle works, but it is just not the same. Once you start using a mister, it is not the same. She, what a sweetheart she was. She said, I think she said she wanted to get me, a, or it said it was going to be red, but I don't remember. Anyway, I totally forgot that I had it. And it shows, right? Y'all see down here? Yes. Um, so how's everybody hanging? Whew. I don't want to talk politics, but I, I do want to know how you are. Who's saying hi? Connie, hi, sweetheart. How are you? Uh, someone asked earlier about where, I, where my uh, scarf came from. It's from Lush. You know the bath bomb store? It's from Lush. I think you're supposed to buy them to tie your bath bombs up in and give them to people. Like, I think they sell them for that like a packaging kind of thing, but, um, and some of them aren't soft, like some of the scarves that they had there to tie them up in. I was like, why would anyone buy that? It's, the fabric's pretty, but you touch it. I don't like stiff fabric. Ugh, I don't like it. Um, and this one though is real silky, like super silky. I was like, Ooh, I need that. And the lady was like, Oh, you love our Brussels sprouts. I was like, I love Brussels sprouts, love Brussels sprouts. I got to buy that. So I did, but yeah, I got it at Lush. And then someone else asked about my, my very first leopard pad. You like it? Thank you, Audrey. Um, anyway, it's from, I got it yesterday, and it is from uh, Victoria's Secrets. I got it at Victoria's Secrets. I love it. I had it on this afternoon when my daughter Haley came home. She's 31. She was like, what is that goodness on your body? I was like, oh, you like my uh, chalk bra. She was like, I think that you might have to take that off. I think I might need that. Um, it was very reasonable. It was very, very reasonable. I never go shopping, you guys, and I never go in Victoria's Secrets. Uh, where can you get the new stencils? You can get them online or at your retailer, but they're not available to buy yet. The retailers, I believe, just were able to put their orders in for them today. They're not retailing yet, but they will be soon. The Gray Boss, which is what I used under this white, um, the Gray Boss, the Moose, the Moose, and... The stencils, I don't know what the date is. Uh, quick question. Oops, oops, oops. Hold tight, hold tight. Those are coming fast. Virginia, quick question. I put on too much gold wax and I highlight with thinned chalk paint. What? So, okay, Virginia. All right, I got that part but I don't see your question. You were sure I was doing an alligator? No, but that would be really pretty, right? That would be so pretty. Um, I do love that my daughters can wear my clothes, Lynn. I think that is really cool. I'm praying that our country heals regardless of who wins this election. Deb, I am right there with you. Can we all just be nice? Can our leaders be nice, please? Uh, rhubarb pie, are you naming this, Angie? Rhubarb pie like we did on Dixie Belle? Mmm. I like that. I like that. Yeah, they named it Garnet. I don't know. It just doesn't seem red enough to me. Um, the 18th online. That's what I was thinking. I thought it was either the 17th or the 18th. I thought so. 
Okay, so I babysit your paint, guys. Don't forget to babysit your paint, because see, I got me a little drip. Drip, drip, drip. Go back and get that out. Any others? Any others? Nope. We're good. Good. All right, if I move the camera, and hopefully I don't lose you, because sometimes when I move the camera, I lose you, um, I'm going to finish this other little leg over here. Now, I will, after this, uh, take the drawers out, and, yeah, you can see that now. Where is the best to ask your opinion? Leslie, um, email. Email is the best way. I mean, you can ask it right now. Or if you want to be, if it's private, email info at tracysfancy.com. Info at tracysfancy.com. I see every single email. I do not see every single message. And I do not see every single comment. Um, garnet is your birthstone, Francis. What is garnet? What birthstone is that? I don't know what birthstone that is. All right, so if you notice with the green, I'm not spritzing with water like I did with the white um, because I am... Um, Wanting to leave it a little bit thicker so that I can go back and pounce. I just really like a tree of frog green with a little bit of pounce to it. Cotton against that tree. I know, isn't it, Deb? It is. January. It is January. That's right. It is. I knew that. Duh. I knew that. You're a snow baby. That's so funny that you say that because we also bought at Lush yesterday, Zadie did, um, a bath bomb and also um, a bath bomb and some spray, like body spray at, at this Lush place. And it was called Snow Fairy. I loved that. I was like, so I want to be a snow fairy. <laughs> snow fairy. <laughs> Love it. Um, but oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells, to me, it smelled just like, uh, remember the Laffy Taffy little squares of candy that you could get on the bottom row at like 7-Eleven or, you know, Stop and Go, You Totem, whatever the names of those places were. Um, and you could buy them for like a penny. And there were little squares that were like Laffy Taffy and there was the banana flavored one. It's my favorite. I love how it smells. I love how it tastes. Uh, that is what the snow baby smelled like. And they said it was cotton candy, but I thought it smelled like, um, I thought it smelled just like the yellow Laffy Taffy. I don't know what's in their products, y'all, so I'm not going to tell y'all to go get them and try them because I don't know how clean their products are. And I'm a major advocate of clean, but Zadie had a gift certificate from her birthday uh, for $50. So... We went there, and it was fun, and everything does smell really good, and I'm not going to tell her she can't get it, but I'm a pretty big advocate of what she uses on her skin and what I use on my skin, so, um, but I let her, I let her do it. I can't, you know, I can't shoot it down all the time. She'll be like, Mom, stop being such a hippie. <laughs> uh, does anyone know? Tell me if you know. Okay, well, it's not private. I'm painting a coffee table. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, let me see here. I am painting a coffee table for a friend and stuck on where to go next. I wanted to send a photo. Didn't want to take away from your live right now and I'll email it. It will be easier for me to see. You would never take away from my live while we're on my page. I don't, I can talk, we can talk about your dog if you want to. So we are on my schedule. Not a problem at all. I'm here for you guys. So, but I do need to be able to see it. So if you will email me a photo, Leslie, that would be um, that'd be awesome, and I'm happy to do that. Okay, Virginia, quick question. I use too much gold wax on my mantle. Can I thin out chalk paint and just highlight the areas, or do I need to prep it and plan on putting on a sealant on it when I am done? So you put too much, I guess I'm having a struggle. Virginia, it might help me to help you if you email me a photo too. Because I don't know if you're, is this like a carved area? Is it gold wax on flat? I don't know what you have going on. That would help me to help you. Uh, info at tracysfancy.com and send me a photo. You, you can do what you're saying. You can thin out chalk paint and highlight the areas. 
I, I just am not sure about like what areas you're talking about, but if it's Dixie Belle wax and Dixie Belle paint, you can use them together. One or the other on top of each other. Cause I make washes with paint all the time. Uh, on a ceiling on it when I'm done. I just need to see it, girl. I do. I'm so sorry. I'm. I, I feel, don't feel like I can give you good advice without seeing it. Can you can you snap a picture and send it to me? I just saw a, a purse that was called Snow Leopard. Oh yeah, I love anything called Snow Leopard. Laffy Taffy. The blast from the past. How about the U totem and the stop and go? How about that being a blast from the past for you? What do you use on your skin? Your skin looks amazing, Francis. Thank you so much. I use um, well, I have a super clean diet and I eat a lot of sweet potatoes and a lot of carrots, which give me constant color in my skin. I don't have a tan. I just have, I eat food with a lot of keratin in it. And so I get like this color. Um, and then I use all Arbonne. I use Arbonne products, all Arbonne products. I love Arbonne products. Absolutely love them. I use the whole skincare regimen. So does my 31 year old daughter. She has rosacea. So she uses this calming product from them. And then my teenager that's 14 uses it as well. And she uses, uh, I think it's called prep work because she's a teen. Um, and then I use the advanced aging <laughs> on mine. Uh, the only thing about Arbonne is I can't just send you a link and then you can just go buy the stuff because it's a, like a membership thing. It's like belonging to Costco or belonging to Sam's Club. You know, you have to, you don't have to, you can pay. You can go there and just follow the link and buy it right off. But if you instead you pay $30 for the year, then you get it at like a discounted wholesale price. So I struggle with that part of it. That's why I don't promote it or talk about it. Although my family knows and they all use it. But that's that. And if you're an Arbonne, if my Arbonne person's listening, I'm sorry. I know that's a terrible sales tactic that I just did, but I can't help it. That's my, that's, but I love it. I just wish it wasn't like that. But it is. Um, oh my gosh, she would kill me. Uh, Virginia, she's a long, long time friend of mine. Heather B. and Tracy is in Texas. Oh, Nina, you're so sweet. What is your favorite gold? Mine, what is my favorite gold? Why am I, who is this person that just came on this live video behind me? Uh, uh, my favorite gold, oh my gosh, it used to be the little tiny jar of liquid leaf. It was called liquid leaf, gold. It came in a little tiny jar and um, I called it crack. <laughs> I called it liquid crack because it's like my crack, my gold paint crack. Uh, then... Then came along, um, but you can't paint like huge surfaces with that. Then for years I used uh, Modern Masters. Their Olympic gold was my favorite. Loved it. Then finally, finally Dixie Belle came out with a gold paint that I liked. I didn't like one that they had years back, but uh, in the beginning. So then the Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger. Love it. I love Gold Digger. It's what's trimmed out on the Maryland bed. Um, I just used Gold Digger on something recently, heavily. A lot of Gold Digger. Oh, Marie Antoinette. It's on my Marie Antoinette Anwar that Nina bought. Um, the top and the bottom, that's all Gold Digger. It's sitting right here in front of me because we're still waiting on my shipper. Um, it looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. So I love Gold Digger. And it's the closest to Olympic Gold uh, by Modern Masters that I've ever used. And then I replaced the little liquid crack that I don't have to use anymore because it's so bad for me. The fumes are horrible. It's horribly toxic. Um, my throat would swell. So I would do detailing with it, real up close work, because you know a lot of my work is very up close, and I would just breathe those fumes in. And at night I would go to bed and my throat would swell up and I couldn't breathe and I couldn't swallow for days. Like hard to swallow, horrible sore throat, swollen glands. It was reacting to the fumes from that gold paint. So I don't feel right in recommending it. If you use it, wear a mask. Um, anyway, then Dixie Bell started reformulating their waxes um, and their mousse. And then on top of that, uh, now we have the mousse, which I love. It's very vibrant, you guys, but it's for small areas. But then Solly Joe came up with Posh Pigments where you can make your own paint. And it is as that is the closest to that liquid crack I've ever used with zero smell and zero fumes. And it's the, the um, Posh Pigments. So that's that. That was a long answer, right? But there's different golds for different things that I like. 
Uh, so that was a loaded question. Um, glow in the dark, Tracy Deb, you're talking about my keratin. Um, gotcha, I tried Arbonne a long time ago. I really love it, Francis. I do. And I've used it now going on about a little over two years. Yes, A-R-B-O-N-N-E, exactly. And I, I have a link. I mean, if you're wanting to try it or you're wanting to use it, please go through me. I would love to also just so we can get to know each other a little bit, but I'd be there to help you and answer your questions. Um, like I said, it's like a $30 for the year and then you get discounted prices. If you don't want to do that, you can just try it out and pay full price. That's up to you. But I can help walk you through that. If you want to send me a message or um, email me at info at tracysfancy.com. Um, Leslie, I really, really do love it. And they just came out with this new ageless line or whatever. And oh, I do, I love it. Um, let's see. Yep, Marie. Yep, Marie. Um, okay, Virginia, I will look for that. I will look for it. Um, how do I ship my furniture, Mary? I have a shipper. Uh, I actually quit shipping. I shipped for about eight or nine straight years. And I had like I had loyal shippers that I used only these specific shippers for years one by one they quit after years of using them getting to know them really well like Christmas card Christmas card sending getting to know them uh, rough guys <laughs> rough but you know they're on the road and they're alone um, yeah so anyway some of them I'm still in touch with right here on my page they still follow and watch my videos and stuff but they one by one quit. And when they did, I was so over shipping and I couldn't find anyone reputable and I just quit shipping. So by then my business had grown large enough that I was able to stay local. And I really like it. I like that people bring me their stuff. I do the work, they pick it up. That's it. I don't, I, I don't like shipping. Um, so anyway, I finally decided I would get back into shipping and um, Brandy gave me this guy that everybody raved about and that was nine weeks ago. I've paid him and um, I've had to ask for my money back. I had to fire him. He never even showed up at my house. He's have life issues going on. I don't know, but nine weeks is too long. Nina's one of my customers uh, and the shipper hasn't even arrived, much less the three, four, five, and six weeks it takes once they pick your stuff up. So um, I have since been doing my homework and have found a really cool guy that I think I'm gonna like. I haven't met him yet, but he should be here in another week and um, seems really, really nice. And some other girls have used him, um, some people use him weekly. I'm hoping that that's the case and I will use him often and I will shout his praises, but I need to use him first. So that's that. Um, They're white glove shippers. They come here, they pick it up, they blanket wrap it, they shrink wrap it, and they put it on their truck and they do the same thing when they get it to your client's house. Um, years and years ago, we did crating and stuff like that had company come pick up all the pieces. This was when I would ship like 15 and 20 pieces a week. Um, and they would take them, it was astronomical, and freight, do not do freight. Don't ship freight. Do not go the freight route. They will destroy your pieces. Uh, let's see. Um, which posh pigment is my fave? Lemon gold. Lemon gold is my favorite. I feel like it's the brightest. Uh, am I way behind? Hello, Ruth. Um, um, I'm, I'm scrolling. Oh, I missed someone here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What part of Texas am I in? Virginia, I'm in San Antonio. I'm in San Antonio, Texas. I do have a local person who is fabulous. His name is Talal. And he will pick up pieces that, like if I have a client that's local or even as far as like Austin, um, an hour out, he'll drive out and pick stuff up and bring it to me. Of course, he charges you, but if you don't have a way to haul furniture to me, he'll go get it and bring it to me. I've been using him for years locally. And then when I'm through painting, he'll deliver the piece. He does never, he's never dented, scratched. He's so good. I love him so much. I um, was going to pick up in Texas and visit my sis, but with COVID too much delay. Yep. I'm not shopping for you, Nina. I'm shipping for you, but I'm also shopping for you. <laughs> Sometimes, right? <laughs> Sometimes. Um, so that's that. Okay, guys. Well, we have been on uh, for about a half hour, I guess, about a half hour. Um, my watch is telling me that I need to do an outdoor walk. <laughs> my watch is telling me to go outside and walk. Oh, mercy sakes. Anyway, um, 
I think I'll get green down on the top and the sides and then I'm going to shut down, but I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, y'all have a good night. It's been fun hanging out with y'all in this relaxed atmosphere and I cannot wait until this is done and then you can be like, yay, I saw that. I saw her doing that and it's done and it's available. So I forgot to say that on Dixie Belle. This piece is available. No one nabbed it. No one picked it up yesterday. Shocked. So, uh, it is available and I do now have a shipper nationwide shipping. He said there is nowhere that he won't deliver. So, um, it's big. It's, you can see that it's big. It's not a nightstand. It's more of like an entryway size piece. So, or a small dresser would be great as a changing table in a nursery, but maybe not with the vibe that I'm, that I'm putting on it. <laughs> anyway, guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Um, pray for our country. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.